Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Great Hunt, where our Lioness Celestial is currently leading the Starry Skies Lion Pride in a hunt in the forest, where hopefully young Basil will soon be growing up and able to help us in taking out the ancient moose once more. So guys, we're still on our quest to try to reach level 50 with the strongest among all of our animals, the lions, and hopefully raising a little baby lion cub and expanding our pride will help out with that. And Celestial, even though she still has to put up with the tiny pup puppy, still, or the tiny puppy pup, there we go, still with us, is hopeful that once we finally raise this little one into an adult and get vast stores of strength that we have prepared. Oh, there you go, pup. Wow, you really leveled up quite a bit. Uh, but once we manage to finally get him into an adult, we can give him plenty of stores of strength from the elixir that we have been collecting from the Starry Skies ancestors. And perhaps with two of her sons and her mate Leonis helping with the hunting, we will be able to level up even faster, gain greater strength for the Starry Skies ancestors, and get closer and closer to finally being able to open up one of these moonstones. I'm really hoping we'll be able to find them. I have no idea how hard it is to do. I have no idea like where they are, but it's I'm hoping it won't take us too much longer to be able to just really start collecting a ton of them. All right, Celestial, you go ahead and take out these little raccoons. I mean, we really can just like tear through all of the prey really quickly. Yes! All right, and the baby is ready to grow up. Let's do this. All right, come on, Basil. Boom! He is now grown. Look at how cool he looks. Oh my gosh, I think Leonis is gonna be so proud to have another grown son. Let's go ahead and see if we can give him any levels. All right, he, he can have a few levels. He's level one right now, can you believe that? Let's give Celestial more speed and power and health because she's often the one kind of leading the hunt. Now let's give Leonis more power and a bit more speed. And we're gonna do power and speed for Shadow as well. So he can help out with quite a bit of the hunting. And we're gonna see if we can actually level Basil up from level one to who even knows what level uh, with the Ancient Moose. We're just gonna go straight to the Ancient Moose. If anyone decides to fight us on our way there, then we'll take them on. Ugh, for crying out loud, little raccoon. Really, that was a poor decision on your part, I hope you know. Dang it, I wanted to level Basil up purely off of uh, taking him to the Ancient Moose, but I guess the Raccoon Clan had to decide that they wanted to pick a fight with us. All right, we'll save all the rest of that elixir for just baby Basil, who's not a baby anymore. This is gonna be exciting, guys. I feel like the lions are just tearing through the forest. I don't know how loud lions are when they run, but considering that they are some of the big cat family, and a lot of the big cats are able to go hunting in stealth mode. I bet you lions, I mean, I've seen lions hunt before and they can definitely ambush their prey if they're clever with it. All right, you better leave us alone, Fox. We don't have time to have an issue with the Fox clan, but if you get in our way, while we're coming here for the ancient moose. I wonder, can we just like steal the ancient moose's power over and over again today? Because having so many lions might really help out. All right, you guys ready for this? We're gonna try this out. Where's the family? Let's regain our energy. All right, Basil's coming. He's not terribly strong, but let's see if we can pull this off again. And let's do this. All right, wait for it. Gain back our energy and there we go. He's only got 3,000 compared to the 30,000 that the boss of the farm has. This is much more achievable. I mean, look, we actually have 400 health now. How did that happen? Celestial, you are getting so freaking strong. All right, so I wonder how many times we can defeat the moose today. And she has so much stamina. We're totally gonna outlast this. He's almost halfway down. This is fantastic. All right, we're just gonna have even more moose burgers, basically, uh, which is what the lion pride is after. 
But that makes me wonder if we're strong enough to take out the boss of the, the winter forest. So that might be our next goal. Because we are on the great hunt after all. And to become stronger is quite the challenge. All right, let's just take him out. Whoa, okay. I think everybody leveled up. Uh, let's go ahead and see how much Basil leveled up and then let's get out of the Ancient Moose's territory after that. Wow, can you believe we did that? That's really cool. Celestial just managed, whoa, Celestial. I was trying to like get a victory picture with you. She just managed to like get in there and finish everything. Or, well, the rest of the pride did, but still. She led the hunt. All right, well, that was awesome. <laughs> that was really, really fun. Um, I'm kind of excited to explore the winter forest now. All right, we'll wiggle over here for just a second. We'll give the ancient moose time to come back and let's see, Basil's now level five. So that didn't give him nearly as many levels as I hoped. <laughs> uh... I'm always hopeful that it'll go a little faster, but at least we got a bit of leveling done. Oh my gosh, it's really, really, really hard to get through these levels. Ah, uh, okay, well, Basil's an adult at least. And you know what? We'll see how many moose burgers we're able to get off of the ancient moose today. And while we wait, I actually think Leonis is quite curious to see if he happens to have anything that we could give Basil in terms of clothing. Because we do have one awesome outfit for Leonis. We have another awesome outfit for Shadow. <gasps> we do have a third outfit. Oh my gosh. I think that he would be so proud. I, I really think that Leonis likes it when his family is able to wear these. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give him that. And Celestial, I don't have any clothes that I would give to Celestial. Oh, but there's these really cool, <gasps> look at the Wild Club markings. Oh, I hope we get those. Oh, I, I could totally see Celestial loving those. Those are really cool. Yeah, there's a few things that I could see her really enjoying. But for now, like I could see, oh, Celestial would look so awesome with this. Oh, wow. All right. For now, we'll go ahead and give Basil this little cape. And I kind of want to give Celestial something special, too. That would be really fun. All right. We'll have to think about that. And I can't believe we have to get up to level 40 to have another member of the family. You guys probably know that, but I've never gotten such high levels before because normally we get sidetracked with new updates and new stories. Ah, but we'll get there. All right, let's see if we can find that moose again. The deer couldn't even get over to us in time. I can't believe that. And the other problem is we're going to start going through prey really quickly, huh? That's going to be something to keep an eye out for. All right, Basil. We need to go ahead and level him up quite a bit too. There we go. Celestial. Ancient Moose? Not yet. All right, well, let's do a quick bit of hunting whilst we wait. And I think next time we will go to the Winter Forest and see if we are strong enough in order to take on what we find there. And it has actually been quite a long time. Look at those cats chasing a squirrel. Oh my gosh. It has actually been quite a long time since we have worked with the Moon Mother Bats, or the Moon Bats from the Moon Mother Bat. So we might go ahead and check in on them too because I, I, I don't think the puppy is meant for the hardy weather of the winter world just saying all right there's a bunch of squirrels come on moose i wanted to take you out like one more time all right let's see basil leveled up again Man, Celestial is really strong. They're really getting there, so I feel like we can take on bigger challenges than we have been. Yeah, look, like we can just tear through that poor squirrel in no time. So I think the point now would be to kind of find places like the chicken area where there's just tons of, oh, there's another boar. What, <laughs> maybe he thinks he can take over the ancient moose's territory. I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, we're getting so strong, I think now. We just need to find places where there's a lot of strong animals to fight. Hmm. 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 Where 
would that be? Yeah, the great hunt continues then, and we should probably just keep exploring. All right, really? There's not gonna be any more ancient moose today? All right, Basil's at least leveling up a little bit. And I guess we, you know what? We're over halfway to level 50 at this point, so we can't despair. It just feels like it's been taking forever. <laughs> but Basil's already almost level 10. Like we're, we're really compounding our strength and the pride is becoming a lot stronger. We just need to keep searching for the right place to be able to show that strength off. And it might be picking fights with some good groups of animals. Like, look at that. That little skunk didn't even have a chance. Yeah, this is going to be fine. A bigger pride. I think Celestial's beginning to look around herself and realize that she should have a bit of pride in the pride. <laughs> Puns fully intended. Because there are so many of them now that really, wherever we go, if we just point ourselves towards a creature, it's over. Especially with as strong as everybody is. Like, boom, boom. And poor little squirrel. Like, Celestial can almost finish him off herself. Alright, we'll go ahead and have a quick snack. Uh, other problem is, there's so many... <laughs> there's so many lions now that the prey has just gone in seconds. Alright, everybody good? Everybody good? Pup, oh, pup leveled up. Yay, pup. Alright. Well... I was hoping that the ancient moose would come back in time. He did come back in time! Yes, let's do this again! All right. Very exciting. All right, guys, we're gonna have a second round of moose burgers today, and we'll keep an eye on if this is really a worthy challenge. We, I think, I think we wanna go to the winter woods. And we want to give this a try. We want to see if the Winter Woods are going to be a good spot to have the next boss that really gives us a big benefit, that claiming its territory will benefit the Starry Skies as well. But if push come to shove, we could just completely, like, destroy the Ancient Moose over and over and over again. Wow, Celestial's gotten so strong! Boom! Look at everybody level up! Oh, that's beautiful. All right, you know what? It's not terrible. I actually think we could just kind of camp out, uh, which is where you just wait for a respawn. And we could just continue to eat moose burgers f into the future until we get closer to level 40. We can have another lion cub. And by then, I really think we can start possibly hoping to become masters of the savannah. Paws crossed, you know? All right, let's go ahead and see how Basil's doing. He's really becoming quite a bit stronger. In fact, everybody is becoming quite a bit stronger. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll give Leonis some power and Shadow some power right now. And we'll save the rest, though we are going to need quite a bit more of the elixir. But all right, my friends, now that we have proven that the moose territory is definitely easy to crumble before the might of our lion pride, let's report in to our starry skies ancestors and see what dreams and blessings they shall give us today. To Celestial, who leads the pride. Ooh! Oh, that's so cool! We have a little witchy hat for the wolves now. I have no idea which wolf is going to want that, but we might have just like an entire little witch line who could do really cool things like change their, their coat colors all the time. That would be amazing. And then we have some pretty cool purplish wolf eyes, which is a duplicate. So I think that this is maybe a sign that there could be greater magics here in the forest that perhaps isn't meant for the lions, but the rest of the starry skies could use. Uh, and again, greater magics that the rest of the Starry Skies could use with this bear action. So good job investigating and conquering the Forest Celestial. Now let's go ahead and see what Basil, as the next member of the family, has. <gasps> really cool! Okay, Basil ended up with a really cool cheetah scarring. And he also ended up being told to eat up. So be prepared for battle. Be prepared to carry the scars of battle. And for Leonis... Let's go ahead and see what he's got. <gasps> Leonis, I'm so proud of you! Yes! 
<laughs> Maybe while we were running through all of the ancient moose area, Leonis picked up some very, very special rocks that were imbued with some of the power that was found here. And it's a really cool rocky armor outfit for the lynxes, which is awesome. We'll say that the eyes uh, for the eagle, which are green eyes, has to do with maybe mossy green rocks that he found. So go Leonis, I'm so proud. And then for shadow we have a fully expanded wolf family, yes! And a little bit of elixir for pets. Uh, we will go ahead and a little bit of knowledge. So perhaps knowledge about how important it is to grow your family and watch after the pets that you have. And since we got one pet item, we'll go ahead and have little pup, the puppy, bring him an extra treat. And it's nothing too fancy, just forest discoveries, I think. Searching through the forest for acorns. All right, well, there we go, guys. I am very happy with that. That's very exciting. There's hints of magic here in the forest, perhaps not for the lions, but definitely for the other Starry Skies members. And next time we shall see what the winter forest hold for us. And if we're strong enough to take out the winter boss, so if you guys could, do please leave a like for our growing lion pride. They're looking quite fierce. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.